Well, thanks for checking out this pitch clip, a book and a film project about the one and only Mark Baker, a name that's synonymous with nightclubs all around the world. Uh, Mark owning and operating, promoting some of the biggest nightclubs in New York City. You can see some of the press there that's gone global. It's a fascinating story on every single level and would make an unbelievable book. I came to New York for a weekend, I was 22, and it was buzzing, it was rumbling, you could feel, you could feel the energy. I was like, I'm never leaving this town, that's it, this is my town, and that was that. I had the hottest clubs in New York, I've been at the top of my game for like 15 years. You can build a nightclub here for $5 million, and in one year it can be the hottest club in the city, and it's finished. New York City's not a joke. I had a guy one night, he came running across the room with a giant dagger and stabbed me. Any partner that you have is going to get a piece of you, but they're not going to get all of you. I love my partner now, but at the same time, I have to do my job. I eat, sleep, and drink my life. There's nothing else I do, and there's not much else I know. So there's a little demo there of the intro into Mark's life, and I can't even begin to go into telling you how harrowing his uh, childhood story was. It's unbelievable to see where he's come from to what he's achieved and the lifestyle that he's lived. And uh, like I said, just an incredible story. I moved away from home with the circus when I was 11 years old. What I used to do is dress up as a gorilla and get stuck on top of a van in a chair, waving to the kids. I guess so. That maybe that was a bit of a bit of early training for uh, for, the, for the business of promotion. I started skateboarding. I became world champion skateboarder when I was 17. I was hanging out with a bunch of guys called the Dogtown Boys: Jay Adams, Tony Alva, Jimmy Plumer. We invented all the tricks. We started emptying pools out, and we went on tour together around the world. After traveling and doing shows and demos, I had my own boards, got tons of press, learned how to manipulate the press at an early age. I was going out every night, every night, six, seven nights a week, networking. I started to get paid to bring my friends to certain places. I made a living out of partying. Yeah, so it's been an unbelievable journey so far and would make a fascinating book, the behind the scenes of the red carpet and all the things that we imagine, the uh, top nightclubs in the world, the things that happen in the back rooms, the celebrity stories, it'd be just unbelievable as a book, his journey in New York and traveling all around the world and now in Bali. Uh, just the hard work that goes into living the lifestyle of the man known as the king of the nightlife. So you think it's easy? Does anybody think it's going to be easy to be the best at something? You think that there aren't 100,000 other people in New York City who want to be king of clubs? You think it's glamorous? Sure it's glamorous. If I got cars and toys and houses in the Hamptons, you bet I fucking do. But do I drive my bicycle and bust my ass six days a week? You bet I do. Do I go home and cry at night? You bet I fucking do. Do I go home and get the shit kicked out of me by my girlfriend? Because she just can't understand why I can't give her as much love as I give everybody else. You fucking betcha. It's torture. Everything you dreamed of is right there at, the, at your fingertips. But the bottom line is, is that just when you get it, they're walking out the door. Because who the fuck wants to lead this life? That's the price I pay to be the king of clubs. So there he is, Mark Baker, and I think an awesome book deal and then a film deal off the back. Very similar to a friend of his, Jordan Belfort, who wrote the best-selling book that was optioned and then turned into a massive film. I think the potential could be something similar with the story of Mark Baker. So thanks for watching the clip. Appreciate your time.